In this week's video, we're building the hybrid diff for my Suzuki Samurai. It's gonna be awesome. All right, guys, it's finally time to build the hybrid diff. Uh, this project has been in the works for quite a while. I ordered parts out of the States, it took forever to get here. They finally showed up. So now, a hybrid diff is made up of taking a Suzuki Sidekick or a Chevy Tracker center section and a Suzuki Samurai axle tubes and making a hybrid diff. So what you're getting is you're getting the big Tracker or Sidekick gears and you're still retaining your Suzuki Samurai width axles and uh, axle setup and so the advantage with the bigger gears is they're just plain tougher they're easier to get they're a dime a dozen pretty much and there's quite a few different offerings there's um, 430s 462 I believe 529s and you can get those gears with the samurai diff but the samurai ring gear is smaller and less beefy and as soon as you start going up to 529s, you get less pinion contact with the rain gear. Uh, whereas with the Tracker Suzuki Sidekick diff, you have way better contact and it's just a beefier gear set. Yeah, you do have still got the weak Samurai axle. It's, it's, kind, of a, it's kind of a toss up, but what you're doing is you're staying light compared to going to Toyota axles. So, I've seen how these Samurais work in the mud and stuff and being lightweight and where they can go because they are so lightweight. So that's why I'm trying to stay lightweight. So what we're gonna end up doing is cutting these axle tubes off and this uh, brake line holder for lack of a better word. We're gonna cut that stuff off, fit it in here into this jig and tack weld it, make sure it's as square as possible and then weld it up. And I may possibly, if I can get a hold of it, a solid shaft to run through there to make sure it's perfectly straight, put some bearings in there, put the center section in there, make it sure it's perfectly straight before I totally weld it solid. If I can't get that, then we're gonna rely on John's jig to keep it square. A buddy of mine, John, same guy that modified my 1.6 harness and found me the 1.6 16 valve engine, he had a hybrid diff and he basically just made this jig off of his hybrid diff that he already had and that way we can reproduce them if we want them in the future. So that's the plan. We're going to cut these tubes off, get it mounted in this jig, get it squared up, get our bevels ground in here nice so it can take a real good weld and then we're going to tack it for sure and then we'll see about getting a shaft to run through it. So. Let's go cut these tubes off. So here's my plan. I plan on just cutting these axle tubes off with my bandsaw and then cutting them to length. And I already see right here, I got a mark I pre-measured it that that's probably where I want my axle tube cut, but I'd rather have more tube than not enough. So let's cut this. And we're going to cut it right on the weld seam and hopefully that works out good. So now I got these tubes cut off and they're they're longer than they need to be by quite a bit. And I marked what used to be the top of the tube. I don't know if that matters, but it's gonna go like that. And I just need to figure out this diameter and on a matching diameter so I can butt it. I don't think I wanna slip these inside. I'll look at that idea, but I think I wanna butt them and grind you know, a V notch out so I can get a good deep 
penetrating weld on it. I got these bolts here. Once we get it close, these bolts will hold it in on these bolt holes. That'll hold the tube. The tube is supposed to rest on these muffler hangers and it's supposed to fit perfect. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so here's where we're at. I've got the, these squared off, the ends of these tubes squared off and cleaned them all up for welding inside and out. And uh, then I cut the end of these axle tubes, cut them off as square as possible, clean them up for welding. I still got to clean the inside. And then I slipped them in here. And uh, fun little fact, this inner ring is the exact inside diameter as the Samurai axle tubes are outside diameter. So that should help align this perfectly this way. The tube's gonna go in probably this far. It's gonna get welded all the way around here. And if I can, I'm gonna try and weld on the inside from, from where the gear set would be. I'm gonna try and put a few stitches in around the inside on that ring and then welded basically to this face you know, as it goes in there. So that's pretty cool. So we're basically down to cleaning up this diff, cleaning these axle tubes really good, and then setting them in the jig and weld them up. Okay, so I got her all cleaned up here. Let's uh, slip the tubes in and fit it to the jig. Put a few nuts and bolts in here in place. And before we tighten it down, we want to tighten the body down. So the body gets a couple of bolts, four bolts to hold the center section to the frame of this. So we're ready to weld this up here. I've cleaned off a real good ground. I've got the MIG welder set to 3 16 which is a little bit thicker than what we're welding here. What I wanna get, I wanna sink her in good. And what I'm gonna end up doing is just putting like three stitches on each tube to hold it good and tight and then it's gonna come back out and I'm more than likely gonna run a shaft through and build some pucks to make sure that this is good and straight and then uh, if it's all good and straight and everything, then we're gonna weld this sucker solid and weld the inside if we can. So let's buzz this thing up. Okay, so I ended up putting four tacks on it. I thought it would be a little more even if I had to cut a tack and, and tweak stuff a little bit if I had four tacks. So I tried to space them equally around the tube and I got her welded up. So we're gonna see how good this comes out of the jig. And there's our hybrid diff, the beginnings of it. Okay, so we got the hybrid diff started. We've got the tubes in, we've got it tacked. Actually big stitches, just so it won't move on me. I'm gonna make some pucks that fit inside here like the bearings. A Couple more pucks in there and I'm gonna run a rod all the way through it to make sure it's nice and straight. And this video is gonna be a multi-series video. 
this being part one. And part two will be the rod and getting it all straight, getting it all welded solid. There will be another part where I make diff armor, another part where I truss it, and then another part will be the air locker going in. So stick around. I'm gonna put this in a playlist, so if you guys are following this build, you can just hit the playlist and go video by video and, and watch the build happen. It's just too involved to fit all of this into one video, so I figured I would do it in parts. And uh, I think it should be a good deal. So again, if you guys are liking this sort of content, there's more of it coming. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, like, share these videos. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Fabin underscore adventures. And we'll catch you guys next Friday.